Welcome. Welcome, one and all, to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Hey. I don't know, I don't know where you guys live, but you ever see, like, a crazy old guy yelling on his front lawn? until, like, a crowd of people gathered together and started taking pictures and, you know, yelling questions at him? Uh. Well, today, that lawn was 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. (laughs) Because this afternoon, Grandpa Baggy Suits held an impromptu press yelling next to what sounded like an industrial grain combine. And he had some very specific things that he wanted to talk about, specifically everything. Mm. For instance, a lot of people have been talking about the fact that three Republican senators, uh, Flake, uh, McCain, and Corker, have called Donald Trump unfit for office. Sure. And I'm ready. And I'm willing. And I'm able. Sure. I mean, up till now, scientists, psychiatrists, human rights activists, (laughs) world and religious leaders have also said it. But eventually... Republicans did as well. They're late. They're late to everything. They just found out about Gangnam Style. <laughs> just... Is that it? Is that what it is? Is that what it is? Something like right? that. Something like that. Ish. But Ish. <laughs> Trump claimed everybody got along great at yesterday's big Republican unity lunch. I think we had a, a tremendous... I called it a love fest. It was almost a love fest. Maybe it was a love fest. Maybe... Maybe it was a love fest. Could have been, could have been a friendship orgy, possibly, possibly an affectionate ass pile. We're still checking. And I, it was wonderful. It was love. It was, I, I, I. And what is his evidence of this love festing? He tweeted that Republican senators gave him Standing ovations, multiple standing ovations, and really, they just gave me a standing O. Oh, don't you, don't wow. you, don't you get it? You're the president. They have to stand up when you walk in the room. <laughs> it's part of the gig. That's like saying, my practicologist loves me so much. Yeah, yeah. He stuck his finger right up my butt. Oh! Okay? Oh, yes. oh. Right up. Oh. No copay. <laughs> I've never copayed for it in my life. But, Ooh. by the way, at that same luncheon, it wasn't just the standing ovations that Trump really enjoyed. A reporter overheard a member of Trump's Secret Service saying that Trump ate rice and two pieces of cherry pie, took a few sips of his drink, and that, quote, he loves rice. <laughs> Well, of course he loves rice. It's the same reason he loves Mike Pence. Bland and white. (laughs) But really... (laughs) And... (laughs) Sure. Sure. We're all adults. And... (laughs) Rice and pie? That's what he eats? Is he president or a baby at Denny's? (laughs) Great meeting. Fantastic meeting. I got standing ovations, but I was focused on business, finishing my rice so I could have more pie. (laughs) What does Donald Trump's food pyramid look like? Pie, rice, steak, ketchup, Coke button, and beautiful chocolate cake. (laughs) Meanwhile, the most beautiful, unbelievable... (laughs) Meanwhile, uh, back on the White House lawn, Trump assured everyone that Senator Jeff Flake's recent comments will not hurt him in Arizona. I'm very high in Arizona. I love the people. They like me. And if they like you, they must also be very high in Arizona. <laughs> Trump also... Thank you. Thank you. Really? You like that? Crank, crank, Thanks. Yeah, Trump also addressed the recent reports that he couldn't remember a fallen soldier's name. I certainly respect LaDavid. Uh, He, who I, by the way, called LaDavid right from the beginning, just so you understand, they put a chart in front, LaDavid, says LaDavid Johnson. So, I call right from the beginning, there's no hesitation. Remember when Barack Obama would go on TV to brag about being able to read a name off a chart? (laughs) I don't remember that. I don't... Did that happen? Did that... 
Do you remember that? I don't, I don't remember, remember that. Now keep in mind, if Donald... Now keep in mind... <laughs> keep in mind, if Barack Obama ever held a press conference like this one, the Dow would be at zero. <laughs> and we'd all be fighting over feral cat meat. <laughs> and Trump explained why he was able to remember the name that was written on the chart in front of him. One of the great memories of all time. It's true. It's true. See that? He did that. See? It's true. Look, he remembered to put on his hair today. <laughs> yes. Great memory. That's... Yes. Memory. Right there. Yes. That's why everyone calls me the elephant in the room, because my memory is so good. <laughs> Above all, Trump just wants the press to know he's misunderstood. I think the press makes me more uncivil than I am. You know, people don't understand. I was a nice student. You were a nice student? <laughs> Let me read you this actual passage from The Art of the Deal. In the second grade, I actually gave a teacher a black eye. I punched my music teacher because I didn't think he knew anything about music. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh. He was a nice student. <laughs> Yeah. On his report card, under works well and plays with others, he got, please don't punch me. <laughs> okay. To be honest, that may not be entirely fair. Trump did have a point, sort of. I went to an Ivy League college. Uh, I was a nice student. I did very well. Uh, I'm a very intelligent person. It's true. I mean, just look at his senior thesis. I like rice and pie. <laughs> Right, kidney stock, kidneys. <laughs>